Hello guys, welcome to lecture 7, one of my best uh, and most favorable lectures. Today we're going to be talking about search engines, SEO and affiliate marketing. Uh, I'm really looking forward for this lecture and I do hope that you will enjoy it. Um, in definition to begin with, search engine is a software actually uh, that access the internet and searches a database of information according to the user's query. Okay, the engine provides um, a list of results in less than seconds, okay, that best match what the user is trying to find. Today, there are many different search engines available on the internet, of course, each with their own abilities and features. The first engine ever that was developed is considered Archie, which was used to search for FTP files, and the first text-based search engine is considered Veronica. Uh, talking about module, uh, popular search engines, um, Obviously, uh, I believe that the most well-known search engine is Google. But there are still some other that uh, are very popular, such as AOL, Ask.com, uh, Baidu, Bing, and Yahoo. We all know Google, and we just refer to the rest, but all of them are trustable. So, how to access a search engine, you might ask. For users, a search engine is accessed through a browser on their computer, on their smartphone, on a tablet, or, a, or in any other device. Today, most new browsers use an Omnibox, which is a text box at the top of the browser usually. This Omnibox allows users to type in a URL or a search query or a search keyword. You can also visit one of the major search engines homepage to perform a general search, okay? Uh, and you might ask me, okay, sir, how a search engine works in, in as a total and in general? Listen, because large search engines contain millions and sometimes billions of pages, Many search engines not only search the pages, but also display the results depending on their importance. This importance is commonly determined by using various algorithms. As illustrated in the image on the right, the source of all search engine when you open a tab, okay, is a spider or crawler, which automatically visits pages and indexes their context. Of course, because we are recording these videos and what I'm referring, referring as illustrated on the image on the right, uh, you can check it by your own, open uh, any website and you will see this color usually being placed on the, on the right top side. Of course, we are not in the classroom to demonstrate it by myself. Um, you might ask me again, sir, right top corner, crawl, what is this? Listen, in general, once a page crawled, the data containing the page is processed and indexed. Often this can involve some steps, which is strip out, stop words, record the remaining words in the page and the frequency in the Yokyo, record links to other pages, okay, uh, and record information about any images, audio, and embedded media on the page. Importantly, the data collected is used to rank each page. These rankings then determine which pages to show in the search results and in what order. Finally, once the data is processed, okay, we are talking about seconds, even less. It is broken up into one more files, moved to different computers or loaded into memory 
where it can be accessed when search is performed. Okay. Um, do all search engines give the same results? You might ask me, and it will be a good question and a clever question. Not necessarily. Search engines use proprietary algorithms to index. These algorithms, ah, sorry, about the correlate data. So every search engine, okay, the algorithm find us through the index, the correlate data. So every search engine has its own approach to finding what you are trying to find. Uh, its results may be based on where you've located, okay, uh, from where your IP address gets the single, what else you've searched for, okay, through your history, because it's saved unless you clear it manually, okay, uh, and what results were preferred by other users searching the same thing. So it's a circle, okay. For example, each search engine will weigh these factors in a unique way and offer you different results, okay? So, there is not actually the, the question you might ask me, okay, what is the best search engine? It's a question that it's, um, it, it has multiple answers, but... To narrow it down, there isn't one search engine that is better than all the others. Some people could argue that Google search engine is the best and is probably the most popular and well-known. Often, if someone asks how to do something or what something is, another person will suggest they Google it. Google used as a verb means to search for results using the Google search engine. Okay. Microsoft Bing, search engine as well, as, as, as I mentioned before, is also popular and used by many people. Bing does not uh, an excellent job, does not doing not only an excellent job, but gathers information and answering questions, okay? Uh, Yahoo search engine, while not quite as popular as it used to be, okay, like a decade or even more ago, still does an excellent job of search uh, informations. Now, uh, that, now that we got like a, a general idea about the search engines, let's go how to optimize the search engines and what is the SEO, the search engine optimization. So in definition, for SEO and search engine optimization, it's a technique where a web designer or a writer creates a page for the visitor, reading the page and search engine scanning the site for the keywords. By adding and arranging important keywords on a page and pages linking to the page for redirect direction, you can boost these pages and place on search engine results. Okay, it's simple as that. Uh, how it works? Listen, although the search engines are continuously refining how they run web pages, uh, there remains two key elements that are foundation for successful page one results. Okay, sorry, I think that my light here, I don't know if you've seen it clearly. In any case, I hope you do. Uh, so, on-site, the content and website infrastructure targeting, the best keyword clusters, matching existing content to target specific keyword clusters, creating new content to target specific keyword clusters, and having the best website infrastructure and architecture. So, this is the one point of how SEO works. The, the, <coughs> the on-site. Now, the off-site, okay, is how you, a website is referred from online source developing a profile on high quality, relevant and on theme incoming links from other authority websites. Having a relevant and active social media presence creates citations, not linking mentions about you in general. Um, I hope you know what the citations. I'm not going to go into much more details. We'll talk about before in other lectures. 
but in general is something that you should know. Um, at least half of the SEO outcomes are influenced by these offside elements outside your direct control, but still are able to be influenced by your activities. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Matching your existing content, the, the best approach to on-site SEO is to try to uh, match one keyword phrase from each keyword cluster to a single page on your website. Typically, your home page will be focused on your gun. Keyword phrases in your main navigation pages will target your next most important keyword phrases and so on through your web page hierarchy. Um, when, I'm, when I'm referring to your page, I'm just imagining that you are in front of me and you own a website and you we are doing this conversation. That's why I'm referring to your website. Uh, by, by saying your website, in, in, in reality, in, 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 in technically, um, I'm referring to their websites, okay? Just to, to be clear about that. So, often a website won't already, won't already have web pages to target some of the important keyword phrases. You will find to target in the case you need to create new pages to reach these terms. Okay. There are some codes that are behind the scenes. Not all websites are created equally. Okay. Some websites are great and are ideally search engine friendly, but many we come across are not. Uh, a key part of the role of a good SEO firm is to assist you and your web developer to ensure that as many pages of your website are correctly indexed and that there are no technical imp impediments to your online success. So it's a combination of you as an, as an owner, the SEO firm, okay, and your web developer, okay, in order to to consist a powerful team for leading more traffic and generate uh, and increase your ROI percentage. A ROI percentage, it's a return on investment. Okay, uh, we're gonna be talking about on some other lectures probably about ROI. Um, <clears throat> now, the off-site social profile, okay, uh, more and more the search engines are starting to consider social media references as important signals about your website and your company in general. It's not about just having a Facebook page, a Twitter account, or a Google Plus page, but also how active you are, relevant to your market segment, and in what manner your social media associates refer to you your company and your website content. So if you have the Facebook page or the Twitter and you are not active and uh, the relevance to your market segment have a manner that they don't appear on their social media associates and they don't refer to you, you've lost the game. Okay, so it's all a combination. The citation profile of the offside, uh, listen, citations, are referred to your company name, address, um, phone number, website, email, etc. that may not actually link to you, but are recognizable to search engines, okay? Although these citations or mentions are indeed helpful across the board, they are particularly useful in enhancing your search results in the search engines, uh, maps and geolocation rankings. It's a combination of uh, all of them. Okay, um, I hope I'm clear about uh, SEO and search engines. Okay, uh, it's straightforward. The, the PowerPoint slides are there. Uh, please go through. And uh, especially for SEO, please pay attention because the point of the lecture, the point of the, of the degree in general is to increase your online presence when you will get it. So all of you are seeking to work on a digital company, obviously, if you are doing this uh, degree uh, or creating your own website. So please have in mind that the SEO chapter, it's might, it might be 
one of the most important chapters of the whole degree. Okay, uh, now let's go to the third part, okay, of the PowerPoint slides, which is the affiliate marketing. In definition, affiliation, it's a way for a company to sell its products by signing up individuals or companies, what we call the affiliates, who market the company's product for a commission, okay? There are two ways, okay, how to be affiliated or how to gather and uh, grant affiliation to somebody else. The approach to affiliate marketing is by offering an affiliate program to others or you can, or you can sign up, okay, uh, to another's business, affiliate, business affiliation. So as the business driving an affiliate program, you pay your affiliates a commission fee for every lead or sale they drive to your website. Usually the commission is lower for the lead and higher for the, sorry, for the sale. So when they, uh, when they exchange this lead and, the, and they make it sale. Your main goal should be to find affiliates who will reach untapped markets. For example, a company with an, with an easy mind make a good affiliate because its subscri subscribers are, are hungry for resources. So, introducing your offer through a trusted company can grab the attention of, of prospects you might not have otherwise reached. Okay, because they already have the market you are looking for uh, bundled within their website. Once you've protected, final, your prospecting pool, maximize your affiliate program by working with the best and leaving the rest. Okay, the old percentage of a successful affiliation was 80-20. And that implied most of the revenue that will come from a very small percentage of the affiliates. Obviously, 20% of, of this uh, revenue will come from the affiliates and 20 from your own uh, efforts. Uh, because it, ca it can be time consuming to manage a large affiliation network, it's a good idea to consider and select only a few companies initially and interview them before signing, signing them on. Affiliates are an extension of your sales force and represent your online brand, so choose partners successfully. Uh, a friend of mine has a website uh, that uh, deals with affiliation to random online, I'm just giving you an example now, to random online um, uh, casinos. So this affiliation, what he's doing, he has like the website and, and the, the place that he's, uh, he's uploading uh, random advices and how to play and uh, what, what, what trends are and are what, or what games. So when they click the link from his website, from his portal and redirect to an online casino that is affiliated with him, okay, and they play casino, they invest some money of earning some more, he's getting commission on the percentage that this guy or anyone who redirects from his website loses money. I, I, I cannot say the commission, I'm not sure about how much is the percentage, but for example, if I visit his website and I redirect to a casino and I spend 100 euro, he will get some commission out of my loss. So I hope you enjoy the lecture. Please go through. I already uploaded uh, a YouTube video uh, that it will explain a little bit detailed about the SEO. And should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Please allow me by email, allow me 24 hours and I will come back to you. Thank you for paying attention. All the best.